Sorry about the noise. Oh, camera is not. I'll have to see how that looks on stream in a second. Um, hang on, let me do a little bit of. That looks like it's doing a little bit better. I'll wait until it's settled down on the stream. Oh, I need to actually um, mute my stream, my laptop. I don't really want to be hearing an echo. Um, yeah, that seems to be working all good. All right, cool. All right. Sorry about the sound stuff there. I completely forgot to bind mute desktop audio. <laughs> That is something I'll be doing before Wednesday night for sure. Um, but yes, cool. We're back in Satisfactory. So 
I haven't built any extra machines since last time, but I did leave it running today whilst I was doing uni work and a few other things in the background. And I've just been periodically checking on it, making sure that the biomass burners have got fuel so that the machines can keep running. So we've got stockpiles and stockpiles of the stuff that we're currently producing, which means hopefully there won't be as much crafting of basic materials as there was last time. Um, and I've also got a bunch of fuel stockpiled in here. So we don't have to do a lot of running around grabbing grass. At the same time though, I think I pretty much decimated the local um, bush population. Um, but that's fine. Um, and then I did a little bit of research to save on time as well, but not very much. Like only like the really the three second stuff that I could. Um, main thing I really want to do today is I want to get this and I want to get this. Um, but I also just want to make sure that we're getting progress in all the tiers because I want to get to a point where we have water pumps. Because I also realized that just over the hill where my base is, there's a lake. And I remember water pumps in this game being a much, much better source of power. Um, but we haven't got it yet and we need to do the space elevator. Which requires what exactly? How do I make the space station? Fuck, hold on. Uh, no, it's flashlight. There we are. Space elevator. We need... I actually probably have all of those materials right now. So I am going to go... Doop. Um, wire. wire. We should definitely have plenty of wire. Hmm. Hmm. Plenty of wire. So nice to not have to just make it all myself. Uh, no, we don't need cable. We need concrete. Uh, 500. And then we need iron plates. Uh, oh, rods. Rods we need as well. That's going to nails. There we are. Uh, how many rods? Uh, 400. Sweet. And iron plates, I think, are over here. Correct me if I'm wrong. What? There's nothing there. Why isn't Oh, wait, no. That's the fuel maker thing, my bobs. They make the biofuel. Here we go. That's what I was wanting. Sweet. So we now can make the space elevator. Now, where do we want to make? I the space elevator would actually look quite look quite cool on the hill up there. Actually, it's a bit of a walk, but I don't know. It will give it a little bit extra height. I don't know why I'm turning my head up there. Like I can actually look around like I'm in VR. I can't, but anyway. Oh, also, I did have a look at some of the suggestions from last stream, last satisfactory stream. Um, and I think I mentioned this on my last alien stream as well, but I had another look at all the different things that people were talking about. It looks like everything's set on what it should be. And I've mentioned this on my social media, but I, I'm starting to wonder whether the issues I've been having is because perhaps, ooh, wait, oh, please, please, in the way. Oh, is that going to be, ooh. So that can be problematic if it's not level. It'll be fine. Um, but basically, I'm wondering whether maybe um, there's a little bit more traffic than usual on a Monday night. So we'll see if we have any issues tonight. Currently, we seem to be okay. Um, and if I have more issues tonight, then it might be worth me rescheduling this particular stream to another night. Um, I have already rescheduled my win my Thursday night streams to Wednesdays just because I found out recently that a show that I've always wanted to watch live but never really found the time actually does it on Thursday um, and I really want to make an effort to actually start watching that live so I've moved my stream away from that hopefully uni stuff doesn't get in the way like it does usually um, I don't know why I'm picking up leaves I don't really need to pick up leaves at the moment um, foundations let's make a stairway up there are. We're gonna need a bigger stairway. Um, hang on. Can I just make a conveyor belt? Is that gonna work? Uh, logistics. Uh, no, it doesn't actually clip into the. Okay. Ramps and flat 
plains it is then. Um, hang on. Uh, <laughs> Cool. And then if we just go snap, snap, snap. Okay, we do have to jump up. That's fine. I can deal with that. Cool. Configure. Uh, we need smart plating. Um, this will unlock tier three and four. How do the fuck do we make smart plate? Okay, so we need the hardened stuff and we need rotors. We've got the hardened stuff already making. We've got a stockpile of them. The rotors is what we need to figure out at the moment. Let's not drop down the cliff and do what I did last time. That was annoying. Um, oh, there's a slug over there. Oh, I'll remember that that slug is there. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's all good. Um, so. In the last 48 hours, I've been rewatching some of the, well, I say rewatching, but one of them I hadn't seen before, but I've watched about three different Marvel films. Um, because early in the year, I tried watching uh, all the Marvel films in their chronological order, because I haven't actually seen all the Marvel films before. Like, I've seen some of them. I've seen, like, uh, a fair amount of the big ones. Like, I've seen Endgame and Infinity War. Um, and I watched Avengers 1 as a kid. Oh, where is and plates um but i hadn't seen some of the other ones like i hadn't seen captain marvel i barely remember the iron man films i know i saw them at the time but i don't remember them very well uh, aha here we go um i don't know how many it was that i needed so i'm just gonna go 100 and then we need to make rotors what do we need to make rotors um i should have just looked at oh, i don't want to go all the way up there let me look on the wiki, because I don't want to run all the way up to the space elevator again. Um, but yeah, but basically, I've been re-watching some of the um, Marvel films um, from the beginning of the timeline. So I, last night, I watched um, Captain Marvel and Iron Man 1, and then just before stream, I was watching Iron Man 2, and I'm about 10 minutes away from the ending. Like, I basically finished it, but that's fine. Um, right, yes. Uh, space elevator. Satisfactory... Uh, phase one requirements. Project assembly phases. Phase one, we need 50 times smart plating. And that requires. Oh, for God's sakes. It is impossible to craft this part manually, it has to be all made with assembler. Good to know. Um. Okay, it requires one reinforced iron plate and one rotor. Okay. Um, and it'll take two minutes to make one item. And if we need 50 of them, I will take 50 times two minutes. And that is, oh my fucking God, I'm an idiot. It's a hundred. Why did I take so long to think that? It's a hundred. We're not putting down the counter. It's too soon. Um, but yeah, no, okay. So it'll take a hundred minutes to make all the smart plating I need. So maybe we aren't going to do that. We're not going to achieve that tonight, maybe. But we can certainly start it and get it going. And then it can be ready for next stream, perhaps. Um, cool. Cool. Right. So really we need to figure out how to make rotors. Um, that's not the menu I need. Menu is... What the fuck? How do I do that? There's an emotes menu in this game? <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Um, but no, I'm looking for the codex menu. Where is the... There's a photo mode I didn't know about. What's the dismantle? Aha! Codex. So it's X, not C. Um, rotors. What do we need? Uh, we need iron rods and... Nails. So we definitely need an assembler. What do we need to make an assembler? Uh, no, 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 no. I won't do that. Okay, so I need to actually make the rotors first. Opening codex. K. 
can I? Oh, I can add to do this. Um, so I need four of them. Uh, huh. Cool. So I got everything I need but the rotors, and I need to get more screws for that. Good to know. Uh, guess I don't fill up my inventory too unnecessarily. Ooh, thank you. Um, but yeah, no, but I'm rewatching some of those Marvel films. And I actually, maybe I didn't give them enough credit, but as a kid, I really enjoyed them. And then as a teenager, I was like, ah, oh, they're really bland. But coming back to them, I'm like, no, nah, they're actually okay films. Also, speaking about um, Captain Marvel, I know there was a lot of controversy about that film from um, fanboys going, eh, why does it have to be, like, so feminist and whatnot? But it's like, it's really not that bad. Like, I'm not sure I get what the problem was. Like... Yeah, like, you, you... like she has weaknesses, and people kept on saying, oh, she doesn't show any weaknesses. Like, no, she has weakness. She does have a character development. The actress does a mostly pretty good job, but there is a bit, there's bits and pieces where she does appear wooden, but I think for the most part, she did a pretty good job. Like, I really think that a lot of the fanboys were just a bit like, hmm? And it makes me really cringe knowing that I was one of the people who hadn't even seen the film and just looked at all the responses going, okay, well, I'm not going to see if people are saying it's crap. Um, I really regret that now because I actually really enjoyed it. Um, also, Ben Mendelsohn. It was such a nice surprise to see him in that film. Um, anyway, where were we? We were doing the assembler. Cool. Um, and this needs to use rods and nails. Now nails are going to there, rods are going into where? They're going into there. Okay, so I probably only want to pop it just here. Ooh, we're getting into the gas though. Um, maybe we angle it that way. Yeah, we'll angle it that way. Um, cool. But yeah, no, so I really enjoyed that film. Um, uh, it was a nice surprise. Um, I should have known better though than, than to judge a book by its cover. Um, but you know, so I highly recommend it to anyone who's interested in watching Marvel films they haven't yet seen, because that was pretty fucking good. Um, sorry, hold on. I need to focus for a second here. Okay, now so it needs to go up on there. And then it can go there. There we are. Sweet. This will be so much nicer when I get like the stacking things. Oh my god, that looks. Yeah, this will be much better when we've got when we've got the stacking things. Cool. Alrighty, and I want you to start making rotors. Sweet. Oh, I also need to connect it to the power, of course. Um. But yeah, so Captain Mar Marvel's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Um, is it the best Marvel movie? No, it's not. Is it a bad movie, Marvel movie? No, it's not. It's a good one. It's just not the best. Um, but you know, so, and then I watched Iron Man 1 and 2. Iron Man 1, is it the best Marvel movie? No. Is it a bad Marvel movie? No. It, it is still a good one as well. Um, I did not give it enough credit as a teenager. I think maybe it was just because I was, I think the reason why I was so down on the Marvel movies when I was, like, tween, early teenager was perhaps I was just in a bit of Marvel fatigue. Like, I had seen a fair amount of them as they came out. I was lucky enough to be able to see Avengers in the cinema and really enjoyed it at the time. But I think that what that ended up meaning was that just by the time that Phase 2 came around, I was kind of like, eh, it's just, like, kind of all very, very similar. Um, at that time, I was really into, um, oh, what's it called? Honest Trailers? And I remember a large reason why I ended up hating as a teenager the Avengers one film was that they made a joke of how are they talking without earpieces but I think if you actually look closely enough they do have pieces I could be wrong I'll have to look again when I watch it soon uh when I get up to it in my I not really call it a marathon like I watched Captain America like a few months ago now and only now have I started continuing to watch the franchise um but yeah no um 
So it's actually been really nice going back to those films and rediscovering them and going, actually, these are better than what I remember. Especially after having gone really into Infinity War as it came out and really enjoying the Spider-Man films. Um, like, I'd never actually seen uh, Civil War, but I did go and watch... Did I watch Homecoming in those? I think I watched Homecoming in the cinema with a bunch of friends. Yeah, because I think that same year we watched Homecoming and we also watched Deadpool 2 in the cinemas. Or maybe it was two super... I don't remember. Um, anyway, but I know that I watched the two Spider-Man movies as they came out and they were fantastic. I absolutely adore those films. Um, so yeah, so I think that's kind of the reason why I've gone back to the films and gone, let's, let's actually start watching all of them again. Um, yeah put it this way, although I will make a storage container first. So that's been really fun. So I've been doing that. Um, I think the next film, because it's the big week um, where, like, I think like the three different films take place. Thor, Incredible Hulk and, oh, I need more iron plates, okay. Um, Incredible Hulk and Iron Man 2. And I do find it interesting as well that on Disney+, Plus, which is how I'm watching all these films, um, on the bit where it talks about all the films in chronological order, The Incredible Hulk doesn't turn up. Like, it's not on the list. Which... Is it canon anymore? But then, looking on Reddit forums and whatnot, I don't remember this, but apparently you actually see footage from the film multiple times in a couple of different other MCU films. Um, and then... There's events from it that are referenced, um, the Colonel, whatever his name, the the dude who's the love interest father who's also trying to hunt down Hulk appears in one of the later films, I think in Age of Ultron, they said, which I haven't seen Age of Ultron, so it'll be interesting when I get up to that. Because um, I do know a vision, but it meant that when uh, Infinity War came along and I watched One Division, it was kind of like, yep, yeah, that's all I know about them. Like, I gathered that he was made from the remnants of Ultron, but I didn't really know that much beyond that. Um, cool, that's going in there. So it'll be interesting when I actually watch Age of Ultron and see Vision being created. It's strange going back to Iron Man 1 and 2 and hearing Vision's voice come out of Jarvis. Um, oh, Jarvis. I'd like, also, like, I forgot Jarvis existed until I watched the Iron Man films again, so that was interesting as well. Um, right, we need another assembler to make the advanced parts. Um, which required getting a message from someone. I will check that later. Um, I might even just add this to my to do list so I know exactly what it needs. But it needs reinforced iron plates and it needs rotors. So now, my reinforced iron plates are way over there. So, it might be worth making a bit of middle ground and going doop. Doop, doop, curving around up there. Uh, right, make it go over there. And then we'll make the assembler sit like there ish. And we'll build this into there. And then we can just build a conveyor belt coming from the advanced plates um, into here. And then at that point, we should start thinking about making more generators, because even though I've got plenty of fuel, the generators don't make enough power at once in order to support that many more machines. So I'll have enough fuel, but I will need, um, which we call it. Why haven't I got a splitter here? Um, but I will need to, um, fuck, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. Oh, that's really annoying me. Shit, I don't remember. That's all right. Uh, oh, that could be problematic. Okay, hang on. Uh, okay, there's better. Actually, if I build it there, is that still going to work? No. Shit. 
Unless, hold on, if I go just like, can I make it weirdly curved around enough that it works? Yes. Not sure that should that should work, but it works. Um, and then we should probably think about getting a slug for that, because that's a very slow machine. Um, I'll look at its optimization thing, but I think we could make that faster. But yes, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes, so it's been interesting going back to those. Um, I've been really enjoying it. So it's a, I wouldn't call it a comfort zone for me, like, but it's nice going back to them. Um, and they're full of surprises at the moment for me, just because I don't remember the early ones that well. Like, I can't even remember the plot that much of, um, I was about to say Loki number one, but no, Thor number one. Um, that says a lot about who's more memorable in that particular film, but that's all right. Um, yeah, no, um. Like, the only things I really remember from that is kind of the bits that the one of the recent What If episodes alluded to, like, and that was only really because I watched, um, I think there's a, I think the YouTube is called Major Spoilers, and he's a dude who basically theorises about all the new Marvel stuff and a few other things. Um, doesn't get much right, but he's entertaining nonetheless. Um, also got very strange sense of humour. Um, not one that is always particularly, um, maybe we can just leave it at that. Just not particularly. I don't have a good word at the moment. Um, all right, cool. So that is now powered. We need a storage facility for that. Uh, what else have I been doing in the meantime? Been doing that. Did a few interviews for uni. Um, I won't talk about who yet until I know I've finished those articles and they're ready to go up. Um, but that's been interesting. That's been really, really fun. Um, I should get into the habit of putting down splitters because you're gonna need them later on. Um, I just had this issue. Uh, actually, what am I doing? I can just... Because I haven't got anything in it at the moment. Uh, but, uh... Do, 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 boop. 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 Organization storage container. Do, do. Yay. Cool. So that will very slowly make rotors as its materials is available to it, which is going to be very rarely it seems. So, what's that bringing to it? I've already forgotten. So that's bringing to it rotors, which are very, very slow. And that thing's going to be slow. We're going to need to speed some of this up and op optimize some of these. So, um, I know someone was talking about how you can get through the gas up there using gas masks. So I'm wondering, how do we get the gas masks? And if it's too far away, can we cheese it? Because if we can cheese it, I'm happy to do that. It just might take a few goes. Um, right. Uh, it can't be done through there. I don't think it has to be done through this desk. If I've got it available, assuming. I don't have it available. Is it in the ma'am? Does ma'am have it? Ma'am. Um, ooh. Uh, not yet it doesn't look like which is not great okay can we cheese it I'm gonna drop in my items so I don't have to go f I don't have to go bury them again personal storage box let's make another one really I can't put it on the fine that's fine I will pop it near I can't put it in there either okay that's fine I'll just pop it there well empty out my inventory including 
these things because I don't really want to lose items as important as those. And we're going to see if we can cheese it. Because I really want that slug. Um, yes, um, what have I been doing? So I've been doing interviews. I've been watching Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I haven't played that much more of Alien outside the streams. Mainly because I found that... I don't know, the AI just seems a lot more frustrating than it was before, which is not great. Oh, it's a yellow power slug. That's exactly the ones we needed, which is great. And yes, we cheesed it. Huzzah! Um, and I did have fruit in the chest back there. Sweet. Cool. Um, I can also probably remove the um, smart plating. I don't really need to worry about that anymore. Um, but yeah, no. Um... Yes, what, have, what else have I been up to? I've been getting really into Twin Peaks. Um, there was a essay I was working on last week about abstract games, and that's why I was doing the stream ages and ages and ages and ages and ages ago of oh, Virginia, which is an abstract game. Um, just take off of it, that's fine. Um, but yes, no, so... No, I quit both of them. No, oh, thank you. Um, and... In a lot of different articles, Virginia kept on... Uh, my paper was basically on Virginia and how it was able to convey a coherent narrative with very little dialogue or text um, and no photorealism, which is a really interesting subject. Um, a lot of environmental storytelling and whatnot. But I saw in a lot of articles it kept on getting compared to Twin Peaks. And I've always been curious about Twin Peaks, but never actually watched it. So I thought, okay, I'll have a look around... Um, actually, let me put a pause on that conversation. Let me actually figure out what I'm doing now. Um, so, I've got the yellow slug. Let's see if we can research that. Can we research the yellow slug? We need cable. Okay, let me get quickly get cables. Um, but yes, but... Um, but it kept on getting compared to Twin Peaks. So I was like, cool, alright. I will see if I can watch Twin Peaks to see what they're going on about and see if maybe it's relevant to my essay. Um, hang on. Sweet. Start research. Go. Cool. Yellow power shards is complete. Choose a new node to in a tree to begin your analysis. Uh, I don't have a purple chain my bob. That's fine. New parts. Did I get a power shard from that as well like I did last time? No. That's alright. Um, so what I will do then is I'm going to cook that. Uh, we will look for power slugs. And we might just have a bit of a wonder. Um, cool. Um, but yes, no, so I was like, okay, let's see if out of range. What? Okay, so I'm going in the right direction this way. Okay, so that way. Um, but yes, so I thought, okay, I'll find out what streaming service Twin Peaks is on. Um, and I found out it's on Paramount Plus, which is like, well, shit. Because Paramount Plus is not advertised that much, at least not not where I look. Uh, not the channels I watch on YouTube and not on the websites I go to. Oh, it's up there, is it? Okay. Um... I might have to go around. Um, but yeah, no. So I was like, I don't really want to even get a free trial of Paramount Plus because I'm not going to think about it that much unless I'm actively watching Twin Peaks. Um, and so I don't want to forget about it and accidentally pay for a subscription that I'm probably not going to use that much other than just for Twin Peaks. So I was like, okay, all right. Um, and also, especially if I didn't end up enjoying Twin Peaks. So I was like, what do I do? I still want to watch Twin Peaks, both to see if I would actually enjoy it, but also to... Um, help with the essay and see if maybe it's relevant. So I started looking elsewhere and found out that the seasons are on iTunes. So I was like, okay, first season's 25 bucks. I'll grab the first season, see if it's any good, and also see if it's relevant. Um, and if I don't like it, then that's fine. I've got the first season. I don't have to buy the second. And then it's a one-time payment uh, rather than a possibly recurring subscription that I might forget about. Hello, little fella. Well, you're not so little, but... Cool. So that's one green slug. And there's apparently one in that direction as well. Ooh, I can see it right there. Fantastic. 
Um, but yeah, no. So I ended up buying the first season of Night Chiefs. And I have to say, holy shit, how has no one recommended it to me before? Because it is fucking good. Um, first episode, saw so many similarities to um, Virginia in... Like, the music that it... What the fuck is that thing? I don't really remember you. Do you charge as well? Or are you the thing that shoots at, like, the purple... Yes, you're the thing that sh shoots at the fireballs. I was about to say purple things, but maybe that's a different creature. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different game entirely. My usual strategy is not working against this one. And he's a lot of stuff, which I don't like. Maybe we should start... I did see those on there. Go Ooh, you're the one that has those things. Fantastic. We can actually start researching them. Um, but maybe they're the ones I should start getting like the gun for, which I did see in the man. Um, sweet. We have now two green packs left. Yeah. Um, ooh, don't mind if I do. Um, but yeah, no, it's really good. Um, there's a lot of similarity in the music um, that it used. There's a lot of similarity in like the fact that there's this... What the fuck was that thing? Pretty cool. There's like a big brown lump that just flows through. That's fine. Um, but yeah, no. Um, a lot of similarity in the music, a lot of similarity in the setting, a lot of similarity in some of the character dynamics, even. Um, well, not so much the character dynamics, but the protagonist. Um, with them being an FBI agent investigating um, a crime that a teenager was a victim of. Um, a lot of conspiracy stuff going on. Um, so yes, yeah, so I was absolutely able to use it for my paper, which is fantastic. And at the same time, I found a show that I started really enjoying to the point where I've now got... Oh, I'd say I annoyed my sister because I just realised my door's closed. Um, that's all right. That's fine. Um, I'd say I'm probably being a little bit too loud. That's all right. Um, but yeah, no. Um, so what does that research actually give us? Sorry, hold on. Oh, it just gives us more biomass. Look, that's boring. What does the nail gun need? Oh, it needs more rotors. Although we could actually make that. We could actually make that. So how many rotors did it need? Sorry. Hang on. Alien organisms. Rebar gun. It needs 25 of those. Oh, I can't see. Ah, so really we need 50 of those. Uh, parts, rotors, add to do list. Let's just do that until that's 50. Um, but yeah, no, so I'm really enjoying that. And I got to the point where I actually bought the uh, box set uh, of the entire series. Because now I want to finish it. Because I got to the end of season one and was like, yeah, I would, wouldn't mind having like a hard copy. <laughs> I don't really want to buy it again on iTunes. Um, so I got the box set. The DVD box set. So I've been slowly knocking that off. And I'm now, I think, two episodes into season two, which is great. And then the box I've got has also got the limited series. Um, sorry, where am I going? I'm going to grab screws. Um, but yes, highly recommend Twin Peaks. Such a good show. Um, yeah, it's been fantastic so far. Um, really weird one. Really fucking weird one. Um, it's got the main character of... Do not the new one, not Timothy Chalamet, but it's got, um, I'm looking for iron rods, that's not where iron rods are, um, but it's got, it's like Alex, Ma uh, it's like Alex something, Alex McDonoughy, McEwen, Alex, I'm going to look it up, uh, Twin Peaks, but they share, they basically share the same actor for the main character. Kyle McLaughlin, sorry, not even Alex. I, that's someone else entirely. I need my laptop. I need to see how my stream is going. Why did I close it? Um, yeah, no. So I've been really enjoying that. Um, I did also actually start the original Dune with my partner. We have not finished it yet. Um, we got about as far as... Um, I think they were explaining how the weird suits work when they just got onto Arrakis. That's as far as we got so far. We do plan on finishing it. Um, I think. I certainly do. Um, where do I need? Fuck, I still haven't got any iron rods. Um, where the f... They're the nails. To make nails, you need iron rods. So where are the... Uh, iron rods are here. Sweet. 
Um, you know, so highly recommend Twin Peaks. I've been watching that. We've started Dune. Dune, I'm not sure if I recommend yet, but we'll see. There are bits of it that the original Dune is kind of like, that's kind of interesting, that's kind of neat. But then there are other bits of it where you're like, that's fucking weird. Really fucking weird. Um, cool. And now I'll tick down so I can see how many more rows there. Fantastic. Um, piano. So, hmm. Hmm. Um,. But yeah, no, overall I'm enjoying it though. I just don't know whether I would recommend it to other people yet or what kind of person I would recommend it to yet. Um, but it is an interesting one. It's currently on Amazon Prime, if you've got Amazon Prime. Um, but yeah, no. Um, what else have I done? What games have I been playing? I got back into Hitman. Um, I was playing Hitman 2 a fair amount last night. Um mainly just replaying the old levels from Hitman 1 because one thing that I found really annoying when I started playing Hitman 2 I've done most of the things in Hitman 1 in Hitman 1 but the progress doesn't carry over but then you get the levels from Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 as well so you look at the Hitman 1 levels in Hitman 2 and it's like zero mastery level on everything you haven't unlocked anything even though you did all that stuff in the original game which is pretty frustrating um so, here. So, I was redoing some of those levels last night, trying to regain that stuff. Um, so, I've pretty much finished, um, what do you call it? All the ICA um, mastery level stuff and all those challenges. And I got a decent way through the Paris one. I got halfway through the mastery level for Paris, but I haven't done all the challenges yet. And I haven't done any of the escalations yet. But I will do that at some point. Um, I need more nails in there. Um, but yeah, no, um, so that was kind of fun, a little frustrating, but kind of fun, and it's also, it begins, okay, um, okay, see, so you, you don't have any fuel, I'm going to have to grab some of my stockpile, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, but you know, so I was doing a bit of that. Um, and Hitman's a fun game, but it's one that if it's a level I haven't played before, you really need, I really need to concentrate on. So, but it's also at the same time, the perfect kind of game for me to just like, when it is a level I have played before, it's nice to just zone out and do a challenge without worrying about any of the dialogue or the story stuff and just following the markers and thinking about. So it's a good one that I'll have YouTube videos playing. Hence why I was playing a lot of the older levels, because I wanted to watch a bit of YouTube, not necessarily focus back on the story. Um, because I have gone hard back into offline TV, and specifically Michael Reeves and Lily Pichu. Um, they're both a little bit odd, but that's the joy of them, to be honest. Um, but you know, so I've watched Michael Reeves before. I've pretty much seen, not every single one of his videos, but most of them. Um, and they're pretty good. I would recommend them. Fewer discretion is advised, because... Mmm. Mmm. But, no, he, he seems like a genuinely cool dude. Um, and it, his videos are pretty weird, but pretty funny. Um, sorry, what am I doing? I need to do the... The ma'am. The ma'am with the gun. Um... But yeah, no. So I've been watching a bit of him. Um, didn't I just get the nails? Oh wait, no, I got sidetracked by the generators. That's right. Um, so I've been watching a bit of him. Highly recommend him. Michael Reeves on YouTube. But he also streams, I think. Although I haven't watched his streams. Um, been watching a bit of Lily Pichu, who is also part of Offline TV. Um, is more of an artist, but also does some game streams on the side and highlights of those streams. Um, and she's fantastic. She's hilarious as well. Um, so last night I was watching, um, oh, that'll take five minutes, really? Okay, well, what do I need for the other one? I need rods. I can quickly grab the rods. Um, so I've been watching some of her stuff and she's pretty good. Um, like I watched hers and Michael Reeves, um, uh, what do you call it? Hardcore Minecraft, um, series, which is only like four or five episodes long, so it didn't take that long. Um, and that was pretty fun. That was pretty good. 
Um, but yeah, no. Um, watch that. Watch a few other things of theirs. Watched a few of the older offline TV stuff, which I enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've been really doing much more other than that. Um, while I'm thinking of other topics to talk about, quickly check the machine. Uh, jump pad. Am I gonna use the jump pads though? Let's focus on something else. Sink. Mm. Let's just. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. Slick master. Sweet. We'll do that then. Cool. Uh, okay. So we need concrete. We need concrete. We need concrete. Or even actually, let me just hand in the stuff I've got so then it takes off that so I know exactly what I need. Um, but yeah, no. So I've been doing that. Um, what else have I been doing? Have I been watching anything else? Um, I finished Lucifer. I actually started like last month from like season one. And then I found out that the sixth season was coming out this month. So I had to wait like a couple of weeks before I could actually get to watch that. Um, was season six worth my admittedly incredibly short wait? Not really. Um... I will admit, I was surprised that season five was initially meant as a uh, final season. Um, but honestly, after watching season six, I kind of wish they left it at season five. Like, season six isn't bad, and I'm not going to spoil it here. But there, there are small bits of it that I'm like, that's really cool, that's a nice idea. And there are other bits of it where I was like, why? Why did this need to be added? Why is this a thing? Why did we need to know this? Um, and it kind of ruined... I suppose ruined is the wrong word, but... It wasn't as good as previous seasons. Um, it was a little bit... Not so much plot holy, but more contradictory of what the show's message was really going for with the self actualization thing and, like, trying to... Trying to make yourself a better person and trying to help and change other situation, uh, others' situations um, to generally be a good person. In this one, it felt a little bit more futile. And that was not great. Um, and a lot of it, there wasn't really a clear villain. It was just kind of like, family fun times for a bit. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it did make the show feel a little aimless. Um, and also, we barely see any Trixie. If you've seen the show, you will have noticed that Trixie appears quite a lot in like the first couple seasons. She dwindles a little bit in the middle seasons, and in like season five, she's barely present. Season six, she has only two scenes, and she's not factored into the ending whatsoever. We, we straight up don't know what's happened to her. And I get that's mainly because of, um, uh... Uh, probably because of scheduling conflicts, because I think the actress that plays Trixie now works with Disney. So I can kind of understand um, that. Um, but at the same time, I don't know, I just wish they, they, it didn't stop them from just at least writing a line that someone else could have said just to explain where she was at. Um, like, how she, her story finished. I don't know. Minor niggle, but yeah, especially... I, again, I don't want to spoil, but especially given the story of season six, it didn't make a lot of sense as to why they didn't address where Trixie was at. Um, it was kind of a bit of a glaring issue. Anyway. Milestone reached. Improved versions of conveyor belts and conveyor lifts are now accessible. Treat. Additional verticality, conveyor poles now have a stackable barrier. Well, we can't do any of that stuff until Space Elevator Phase 1 is complete, which we need the advanced, so called advanced parts for. I suppose we. Ooh, MAM's finished though, we can do that quickly. Um, cool, now this is complete. Rebar gun available. Um, need rods. So you set the rods for the other thing. Um, but you know, so. Watch Lucifer, watch season six, excuse me, sorry. Um, watch season six, get your own opinion on it. 
But personally, I was not the biggest fan. Um, but anyway, um, but I at least enjoyed... I'm glad I watched the show, though, because I can understand why people enjoy it, because I really enjoyed it, for the most part. And I'm glad I did watch it, because there were parts of that show that I really did enjoy, and I liked how they dealt with the self-actualization thing and the constant theme of mental health. Um, no, that's the wrong thing. I don't want to put my rods into that. Um, cool, that will only take three seconds. Great. Fantastic. Now, what does that need? That needs three carapaces. Right, well, we'll deal with that as it comes. Is there anything else I can do here? I don't think I've ever made that, even in my previous playthrough. I don't have that thing. Flower petals. Color gun. I could. What's the point of the color gun? I don't have that. Mm, I can't even make one of those things at the moment. I haven't come across those. So I've done everything I can do with the man at the moment. Um, so let's quickly make that gun. But yeah, highly recommend Lucifer. Um, all in all. Um, everyone's opinion of season six is going to be different a lot of people have said they really enjoy it and if you enjoy it then good for you it personally wasn't my kind of thing didn't really gel with me how much is going to be enough how many can you hold in a stack 50 all right well that will do that's fine. Um, did I get the gun? Yes, I did. Good. Um, right then. So, we've got the gun. What can we do here? We can make a sink and a shop. And now as part of that, you can get a car, but it doesn't work very well. And the rest of it is just um, cosmetic, I'm pretty sure. Jump pads. I mean, actually, that would be quite useful for the cliffs and things. So, yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, but we have to wait for the pod. Fuck. And that's going to take two and a half minutes. Well, what can we do in the meantime? Oh, I have two green slugs I can spend. Let's do that. Let's deal with that. All right. Things we need are the advanced theme of bobs, which is this thing. But the issue isn't that it not just it's not fast, but it's not getting these things fast enough. So reinforced iron plate, which is coming from this way. Let's see whether it's optimized or not. I highly doubt it is. Um, let's see what we can what more we can do to optimize it. Oh my god, look at that pitiful single plate. Um ooh, maybe it's nails we need to Yeah, we need to up the nail stuff. Okay, follow this along. Um, what else have I been watching? Been meaning to watch Q Force. Because Q Force's trailer came out and I was very against it. I was very against it. Um, it was not a great trailer. But then. Then some of the people I've heard talk about the show. Um, they seem to really enjoy it and they seem to think it's really good and they're um, people in the LGBT community themselves as well so that's made me think maybe I need to give the show a second chance and it's made, and it's made me think because I know I want to do video essays on the, on the YouTube channel and I'm already working on one about Luca and why everyone kind of saw that as um, what do you call it um as a very um, gay-centric story, despite not being a romance story and not actually being about anyone gay, just read as gay to everyone. So I've done, I've written a whole essay uh, video script about that, and I've got some of the clips for that. And it's just a matter of editing and doing a voiceover for it, and it'll be up on the channel. But I've been thinking about other essay videos I want to do, and one of them was um, I want to turn my Virginia essay into a video essay that could be kind of fun um sorry what am i doing i am doing that to make that a bit faster but then that needs iron rods is iron rods not ah oh, of course because it's splitting between 
so many different things, of course, yes. Um, oh, that's already made faster, though. That's gameplay of ingots. So, yeah, make it faster. Sweet. Um, we can always take the pass on that again. Um, but, yeah, no. Um, so, that would be fun. But then I thought, at first when the trailer came out for QFOS, so I was like, maybe I can do an essay video on everything this series is doing wrong. But then after hearing everyone on Twitter, I'm like, mm, let's not be so closed minded. Let's be a little bit more open minded. Watch the show. And then, based on what I've seen in the show, see if there's anything worth doing an essay pro or con on the show like is there anything worth analyzing in the show um so we'll see we'll see whether that ends up happening or not um right, where was i right so that's been done the pod is back so i can start making the rotors i'm not gonna be able to make enough because i need more rods though okay i'll get more rods in a second um but yeah no so that's been in, that's been interesting. Um, a lot of that work has been stifled though, just because the amount of uni stuff I'm doing at the moment. Like I've, I have one article due, but I'm basically writing two different articles, so I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. Um, both of them will end up being published in the arcade no matter what, because I really have enjoyed doing them, and I'd, it'd be a shame to let all that work go to waste. Um, Assuming both of them do pan out. Um, one of them certainly has panned out. So that should be fine. Um, but yeah, no. Um, but then I've also got a assignment where we're making a ad campaign for vaccination rates in Swinburne. Uh, which is rather topical at the moment. Depressing, but very topical. Um, and there's that. So, And then I also need to make a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, twine game. I forgot what they were called for a second there. Um, for my writing interactive narratives class. Um, and I need to do a little bit more research into what goes into making a twine game and the things I could do with that. Because I, I will be honest, I am not that familiar with twine games. I'm not sure if I've actually even played any twine games, if I'm being completely honest. Um, right, where was I? I need, I need more rods to make rotors. Um, rods make nails, rods are going in there. Um, but yeah, so that's been interesting and it, it has kind of translated into, I have a lot of work at the moment to do. Um, cool, so we need to wait until that gets to 50. Um, but yeah, no, so that's been interesting. Um... Oh. When did I cut out? I didn't even realise I'd cut out. I've just looked at my laptop and it's gone, welcome to the chat room twice on there in the record. So, hmm, interesting. I need to keep a closer eye on my stream. I um, hope that wasn't for too long. Um, okay, so I need more nails. Nail. Um, yeah. That's kind of what I've been up to. I haven't really been doing that much else. Um, yeah. Been trying to think more about what I'm going to stream after Alien is done. Because with the rate we're going at, we're doing like a third per stream. And next stream is going to be the third time we're streaming. Which means we're probably going to finish it, assuming we don't run into any trouble. So I've been trying to think about what I stream next. There are a few options. Why am I making more screws? I don't need more screws. I just got a bunch of screws. Um, so I've been trying to think about what I stream next for Scream Stream. Um, like, I'm trying to give it to a horror theme. Like, they can be shooter or they can be true horror or whatever. I thought maybe Bioshock? I played Bioshock 1 and I've played Bioshock Infinite, but I've only finished Bioshock Infinite. I've never finished Bioshock 1 and I've never even started Bioshock 2, but I own the entire franchise and I, and I own the remastered versions of them. So that could be something we could we could do. That could be really fun. Um, so there was that. There was a game I have not played yet, but do own called The Blackout Club, which I remember came out, I think, at least in early access, it came out in 2019. And it was supposed to be really good. But then it's got multiplayer focus. And I don't know if it's going to be the same single player. Um, 
So I don't know. Um, and I also don't know whether it's story driven or whether it's purely just like Dead by Daylight where um, it's just match focus. So yeah. Um, and I would prefer something that's story um, based just so there's a clear cut sort of beginning in it. At least something where we can tie progression to it. Similar to this where it's like there's only a certain amount of things you can do in um, Satisfactory. And once we hit that end goal, we will stop playing. Either that or when they update the game and our save balls. So, yeah. Um, so playing a game that doesn't necessarily have a point that's very easy to go, hey, that's our ending point. I'm not particularly clean, like keen on doing that. Because then it comes, becomes that line of, well, when do you stop? And when does it become stagnant? Um, so I was thinking Bioshock, at least Bioshock 1, maybe not the entire series in one go, but maybe down the line we could do the sequels, but I thought maybe Bioshock 1 remaster we could do, because I already own that, and it's a fun game, but I've never finished it. Um, yeah, no, um, there's a couple other options, but I can't remember what they were right now. Um, yeah, so something to think about. I've also been thinking about at some point uh, returning to Cyberpunk because that's gotten a lot of updates since I last played it. And from what I hear, it's still not really what they promised, but it sounds like it still be could be a, a better game. And if anyone's read my review on in the arcade or on Steam, you'll and if you've looked at the updates, you'll know that a lot of the issues I've had with the game were story based, and therefore those won't have been fixed. And I've that's fine. Um, I've made my peace with that. Doesn't mean that I'm a fan of the story any, uh, now, or I'm a fan with. Granted, they couldn't do much about the Voodoo Boys because it's something pulled from the original role-playing game. Um, but I'm still not okay with how they did that. But anyway, moving on. Um, but I'm thinking it could be fun to just go back to to see whether the game's more fun now, just generally. Um, come on, launch. Thank you. Um, but I'm thinking maybe I wait for a couple more updates and like maybe do it in like October or November, and then it gives them a bit more time to get more fixes in as well, make it a bit more of a meteor new experience than to when I played it at launch. Because also think of like I played it for like ninety. I think I played it for literally a hundred hours. In fact, let's find out. Uh, yeah, no, literally 99 hours. Um, so, hey, I want to give it a little bit more time as well. So then it's a bit more of a surprise, some of the stuff. Like, I still don't remember some of it, but I want to wait a little bit longer so more of it is of a surprise. You know what I mean? Like, the lot more time you leave behind, the more you forget. Um, so that could be something we do later in the year. It also doesn't really cleanly fit into either of the stream categories I got. It's not a horror thing. And it's not really a big brand um, play stream game. Because um, I'll be honest, a lot of it was just kind of going through the motions and shooty. Um, so maybe when I'm more... When I've... Might be a thing that I might do during my uni holidays, when I know I'm going to be free more for streaming. See how we go. I don't know. It might even just be one that I play in my own free time. Um... Like one, like, one game I know I'm definitely going to play in just my own free time is Life is Strange um, 3, whatever it's called, um, True Colours. Because that's got copyright music, and I've seen memes online about how it looks with that copyright music. Um, yeah, not a fan of that. And I actually like the copyright music in the Life is Strange games, and that's kind of where I've gotten some of my music tastes from. So it would feel really strange to me to play a Life is Strange game without the copyright music. So that is one I'm going to play on my own. Plus, it's a relatively new game. I don't want to hurt sales by streaming the entire story. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to play that on stream. And I can't even afford the game at the moment, so it'll be a while till I can play it. So I'm doing my best to avoid spoilers for it as well. Um, I need to figure out what I am doing next. Um, we really need that space elevator up and going, don't we? Okay, let's focus on getting space elevator stuff done. So, for the space elevator, we need 50 of the advanced components. The advanced components are being made over here. I have sped up some of it. Has it made any of them yet? Uh, 
Uh, that's not the place where they store them. This is the place. It is made five. We need fifty. Uh, we need reinforced iron plates and we need rotors. Now, reinforced iron plates is not a problem. Rotors is going to be the problem. We might just have to handcraft them. That's all right. Um, although, I think it did say we need an assembly. Ah, but hold on. If we just hand feed it the stuff it needs, it could hasten the process a little bit. That'll work. Just get, get that work. Just get 350 of those. Um, Rotors. What, like, let me get the rotors that are made at the moment already, and then I'll see what goes into crafting them. Um, but you know, so we won't play Life is Strange on stream, and we will see about Cyberpunk. We will see. Um, right, what do we need to make rotors? We need unwritten screws. Not a problem. I need more screws. Fuck. Oh, oh, that's a nice effect. Um, cool. Ah, rugs. Rugs, 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 Um, other games we could stream? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think what I own in my Steam account. I was literally looking at it the other night, but I can't remember now. It's also a problem of, I have so many games in my Steam account that I just, so many of them I haven't played before because I have gone through a lot of humble bundles. <laughs> um, so, eh. Uh, well, rotors, yes. Go. Um, yeah, no, so. Hmm. Something to think about. What is that periodic noise where it just goes <laughs> like what is that noise? That noise. It's gonna be one of the machines. Um yeah, what else? I don't think I've really been up to much other than that. Avoiding the news? News is really bloody depressing nowadays. Like, granted, someone who's studying what I am studying, you kind of have to look at the news periodically, so I have been looking at the news, but not as much as I used to, just because you need a break sometimes. Ah, the world is a depressing place nowadays. Um, is it this one? Yes. Fantastic. So I can hold a hundred at once. Um, kill. It only needs one, one to one. So that will make that will make forty four. And I've currently got five. It needs to be able to make one more. So I need to at least make one more rotor. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. And rods. All right. Make one more rotor. Pop that in, and then in a period of time, that'll have all the stuff we need. And I think it's, I think we ended up figuring out that it would take, oh wait, no, was it a hundred we needed? Oh shit, hold on. It'll be in my history somewhere. Um, space, I know I'm making more than one at the moment. Oh, it's finished up. That's fine. Um, space elevator, project assembly phases. Project assembly phases. I am surprised we've not added more to the counter yet. Um, as well, by the way, we're doing well tonight. Um, yeah, 50 times smart plating. Smart plating, um, two per minute. Ah, oh, two per minute. I think I misread that last time. Okay, two per minute. It takes, yeah, so two per minute. Uh, we need 50. Uh, so if it makes two per minute, if, oh, we might be getting to adding something to the counter now. Um, <laughs> So we need 50, it makes two per minute. Mm, my 
brain. Um, it's, is this basic mathematics? I'm actually not sure. Is, do we use division for this? Whilst I'm trying to figure that one out, let me actually feed the rotors to it. It'd be 50 if it was one per minute. It'd be 50 minutes if it was one per minute, but it's not that, it's two per minute. So if we halve 50, it's 25 minutes. So this should only take 25 minutes. Fucking A. All right, sweet, cool. And we'll have already done some of it. So if I set a timer, or even I can do that with Google. Um, hey Google, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Fantastic. Um, and then that way, I know I said 25 minutes, but if it's 20 minutes, then, because I know it's already done some of it already, then we can check where it's up to. And if it's done, it's done. If it's not, we'll just wait for a little while. In the meantime, um, let's see if we can find more slugs. Because um, we really don't need a sink at the moment. We really don't need a fix it sink. It's kind of pointless for now. Not at least until we can build roads. And even then, I think even on roads, it was not great. And by roads, I mean like the foundations and ramps and things. There's got to be one here somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. That direction. That direction. Oh, I think I see it on the tree there. Yeah, I see it. When you when we go over this hill, you'll see it. Yeah, that thing. I, oh, fuck, hello. Oh, I can use your cat pass for a research. Oh shit, there's two of you, I think. Maybe? No, there is two of you. I just don't know where. At least I thought there were two of you, but I, I still haven't seen the second one. Maybe there is just one, and it was that's just weird. Thank you. Yeah, there isn't another one. I'm just, yeah, that's all good. Um. Yeah, so we'll get a few slugs, like, make a few more machines a bit quicker. Thank you. Ugh, awful squelching noise. Um, cool. And we're at range of them again. Oh yeah, this thing, I forgot this thing existed. So with this you can add, oh. But with this thing you can add components and, um, Basically, it'll open it up, I think. Um, I can't remember what it gives you. It might be just more recipes or something. I don't remember. Or research components. I really don't remember. It's been too long. And I don't think I actually use these much. Um, mainly because I was crap at the game and didn't really understand it for a while. Cool motor. I'm not sure if I'll really use it, but I'll take it. Iron plate. Probably actually... No? Okay. Pairs needed. It needs 40 megawatts. Alright, we'll come back to that. Oh, actually, I should have some food. Uh, no, I want both equipped. Don't unequip one, the other. Um. I think I can see one on the cliffs over there, and I can also hear something. Yeah, hello. Actually, what am I doing? I had a gun for this exact type of situation. But I'm not using it. Why am I using it? That's alright. This seems to work. Um... Where was I going? That way. So I think I saw one on like the cliff side there. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, there. I think that's a slug. Yeah, got back into baking again today as well. I haven't done some baking for a while, but made a chocolate cake. Turned out pretty well. Had that for dessert. Not the whole thing, but... Um, actually used some of the tips I learned off of Nailed It, because I've been watching that with my partner recently, and that's been really funny. Um, the dude who put salt in his fucking cake. Why would you put salt? Um, there was another dude who just straight up didn't use the iPad to see the recipe, which, like, dude, come on. Uh, oh. Oh, hello. I wasn't going, oh, about you, I was going, oh, about the gas. Um. Ooh, that was really efficient. From memory, you're a hostile plant. Oh, it really is up there, really? Or is it the plants that give out, give off the gas? In fact, there it is. Okay, we're gonna go. But you know, but that's been a really fun show to watch. Um, you know, so I've been doing a little. Bit, I did a little bit of baking today. Made chocolate cake. Um, I haven't done any, since before before that. I think the last baking thing I did. What did I make? What did I make before that? I actually don't remember. It was so long ago that I don't remember what the last thing was that I baked before that. That's alright. Oh no, wrong way. There we go. Well, the gas hasn't reached me, so I think we might be okay. I think I might have cheesed it again for the good. I was about to say for the good of all people, but like, no, this is just good for the good of me. <laughs> Not really anyone else. Mm. Yeah, that way, thank you. Sweet. Awesome. Horrible scratching nose, but awesome. Oh, and there's is there another one on to the, off the other side. Ah, it doesn't do it based on height. Okay. Uh, I have plenty of concrete. So let's just move about and see what we can see. Ah, it's down there. Okay. That's a lot of plants around it though. That's going to be a bit tricky. Um, best if I do approach it from the ground at least though. Or even maybe I'll just see what I can do with what I've got at the moment. Should probably reclaim my concrete. show i feel like i need to watch more of the netflix reality tv shows because admittedly most reality tv shows crap but some of the netflix ones have actually been kind of funny like last year the floor is lava was a guilty pleasure of mine like i didn't sit down and just watch it solely just to watch it i'd have it in the background and stuff but now it's great now it's fucking awesome and then like i wouldn't mind a second season of the floor is lava 
Like, I don't know. As a kid, I loved Wipeout, and it kind of scratched that itch. Um, so maybe I need to give more of the Netflix um, reality TV shows a go. Um, I did also see on Netflix there's a game called Squid... Not game, sorry. Uh, a TV series called Squid Game, which looks like it was... It, it has that vibe kind of of an anime, and not just because it's made by Asian people, but this is a very bizarre looking story and very stylized. So definitely something I'm interested in. The trailer definitely told me don't watch it in the anime, in the English dub, the English dub, like, it, it was not great. Although what, there's very few English dubs that are that good. I think the, Eng the only two English dubs I'm actually really happy with for any kind of non-English show or film was Agretzko, um, which was really good. Um, and, uh, what do we call it? Uh, the host club one. Oren High School Host Club. Oh, maybe I rewatch Oren High School Host Club. I haven't watched that in ages. Um, but yeah, no. Um, and Oren High School Host Club's English dub is freaking hilarious. Um, and when you look at some of the ad takes, you can tell the actors had fun. Um, now, we had slugs. We needed to turn into power calls. Um... And done. Um, yeah, no. Um, aside from that, yeah. Uh, right. I really want to accelerate some of the larger stuff. Now, what is that making? Is that making rotors? That's making rotors. Let's make that a bit quicker. So, screws are already being. Oh, no, yeah, they're already being. Sped up by one. How quickly is it getting rods? Hmm. Yeah, so the rods are a bit slow. And rods are pretty, pretty big need. Oh, it's been already being sped up by quite a lot. That's fine, we can spend at least and that's coming out super fast. We should, I would be really annoyed if we continue to have problems with those things. Because that's just going to be ridiculous then. Um, so then we should see more nails going off everywhere. And this... That's still going. But the main issue for that was the roses, I believe. Uh, which we sorted out, I think, mostly. It'll be hard to tell. And there's no point speeding up the rotors things. Like, yeah, now we've got plenty of iron rods. Now it's screws. Okay, maybe it's worth overcooking that. Oh, but then now it's idle again. Because the iron rods aren't really coming through as often as we would like them to. Although once that hits the back end here, it'll just go through those two. So there's that. Um, that's kind of all our power things. Let's go on the hunt for more. Um, I will quickly save though. Yeah. The Disney Plus show has been good. I've been watching those recently. I was annoyed at the last What If episode. Uh, I won't spoil it in case anyone who's watching either the VOD or is watching live at the moment hasn't seen it. Good show. I'm starting to get really annoyed about how it was in the cliffhanger endings. And I get it. They, they're probably going to have a team up episode or they're going to reappear in the MCU at some point. But like, and I don't mind a Dana ending, but just make it a proper ending for the episodes, at least for now. Like, come on. That direction, okay. Yeah, that direction. Um, but yeah, no, like, oh, there's one over there. There's one over here, apparently. Strange directional stuff seems to be wigging out a little bit, but that's all right. Um, but you yeah, know, but I've been really enjoying that. Let me actually, you know what? 
put that. I, you have to load it up first. Okay, hold on. Can't end down sites. Oh, really? You have to reload it for every shot. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Okay, stay still. Thank you. Oh, how many shots is it going to take to kill you? And really, it can only load one at a time. Oh, sweet, but it only takes two shots. Okay. Good. Alright, I could live with that. I can live with that. But you know, the Disney Plus shows have been good. Um, I need to watch the second season of... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, not Love, Simon. The spin-off. Um, not Love, David. Not Love, Simon. Um, from the tip of my tongue. Love Victor. That's what it is. Because um, I have watched the first season. It was eh. Oh, that's why the directional thing was weakened out. Um, the first season was eh. Mostly okay. Um, I might rewatch it before I watch the second season. Um, I still think the original film was good. Uh, oh, sorry, was better, sorry. And I have listened to the audiobook of the original thing, which was also really good. Um, no. Oh, this gun's really good. Um, but yeah, no, so, hmm. Um, like, I don't know, the things that annoyed, bit, uh, annoyed me about Love, Victor was most, number one, the acting. Um, most, most of the people in Love, Victor are great. Um, like, the, the older sister is fantastic. His family is fantastic. His friends and that are mostly fantastic. Um, it was a nice surprise to see, uh, I can't remember his name, but the actor who actually played Simon and was also in Jurassic World, fun fact. Um, it was a nice surprise to see him as well as the dude who plays, um, Bram. Um, but Victor himself, like, it just feels like he's got only really like two faces, either wistfully smiling or like going, uh, just, uh. It's been a while since I watched it, so maybe I need to rewatch it, with, like, and just reassess. But that's my memory of it, and that was a bit annoying, and it kind of annoyed me a bit. Um, but yeah, no. Also, that scene where um, Simon literally lets Victor come into a gay bar underage, like, are we sure about that? Like. Granted, I know there's also there's a deleted scene from the film, the original film, where that exact similar kind of thing was going to do. Oh, that's oxymoronic, isn't it? Exactly similar. Um, but a similar sort of thing was going to happen with Simon going into a bar underage, um, but then they cut it out because um, it didn't fit the mood. But at least with that, it kind of showed that yeah, it's a nice bonding exercise for him and his friend. But like, no, they shouldn't be there. Whereas that wasn't really addressed in the show. <laughs> That they, he shouldn't be there. It was just kind of like, yay, he's okay to be here. And I'm like, eh, kick like that? No, no, he's really not. <laughs> no, for so many reasons. Um, but that was really the only main issues I had with the show. But I'm curious about the second season, how that goes, especially with the cliffhanger of the first season. So I, I am probably going to rewatch the first season at some point and then watch the second season. Um, ooh, hold on, that ping. That way, okay. Once I get the third slope, then we can head back to base. I also re-downloaded the audiobook for the original book, so I want to re-listen to it at some point. I've got so many audiobooks on the go at the moment. Like, I started The Shining at the beginning of this year when there wasn't a lockdown, so I could listen to it on the train. I got about halfway through it, but never got back to it after lockdown did hit, and I didn't really have a reason to get on the train. Um, I have the first book of Game of Thrones, I have the first book of Lord of the Rings. It's going to be below me, isn't it, somehow? There it is. But yeah, I've got the first book of Game of Thrones, I've got the first book of Lord of the Rings, I have... Shining, I have Fight Club, which I think I mainly stopped because I found the narrator irritating. Um, I know I need to re li listen, so, or read or listen to the second, um, 
don't know what you would call the series, but Yancy Kroshaw's books. He's got a sequel to Will Save the Galaxy for Food, which was a fucking great book. Um, oh, shit, I've got two of you now. Um, but, you know, great book. Highly recommend it. Got a sequel, um, I think, either beginning of this year or end of last year. Um, and I've been meaning to listen to that, but I also want to re-listen to the original book so I can remember where we're at in the story, because I vaguely remember. Vaguely. It's quite a funny book. If you've never listened to Yahtzee Kroshaw's books, even if you're not a fan of his YouTube videos, because his YouTube videos and his books, granted they're both dryish humour, but his YouTube videos are definitely more crude, whereas the books are a little bit more... They're a little less crude. Like, yeah, they have some crude points, but for the most part, it is all kind of really good satire. It's like that really nice classic satire. Um... So, if you're not familiar with Yahtzee Crochet at all, I think the book I'd recommend... Ooh. Hey, Google. Stop. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, no. Um, if, you've, if you've never seen anything of Yahtzee Crochet's and you want to start reading or listening to his books, um, if you need to listen to them as an audiobook, I would recommend... Um, I probably would recommend uh, listening to Will Save the Galaxy of Food. If you're going to read the actual books and not necessarily um, demand to just listen to them, I would then start with Jam. Because Jam, I'd argue, um, is more... For me, it's more iconic. I found... They're both really fucking funny. But Jam is great. And I would argue... Personally, for me, I liked Jam more than Will Save the Galaxy for Food. But it was one of his earlier books. And... Yahtzee Crochet reads all his audiobooks. And you can kind of tell that with Jam, it was one of the first audiobooks he did. Because I love the voices for his characters is like, character one will have the same intonation for every sentence they say. And it gets really annoying, regardless of what emotion they convey. And it's just, it's just, it, it's a bit annoying. Um, and like, there's a little bit of variation, but not that much between like there's variation in the voices but not very very much variation in how those voices express um separately in terms of emotions like voices will be separate to one another but one voice's emotion the way in way of intonating will be very very similar to every other emotion so a lot of the context for how they're feeling is just the situation and what they're saying not necessarily how they're saying it which is not great it gets really irritating sometimes, and it means you really have to concentrate on the audiobook more than you would for any other audiobook, because you, you can't really rely on just, like, how they're talking to figure out how they're feeling. <laughs> you kind of have to focus more on what they're actually saying. Which, I mean, for an audiobook isn't that bad, but for me it was irritating. So, if you're going to listen to one of his audiobooks, and you haven't listened to any of them before, you've never read any of his stuff and you're not familiar with them, I would highly recommend starting off with We'll Save the Galaxy of Food first. But if you're going to actually read them, then I highly recommend Jam. I would recommend Jam as an audiobook as well anyway. Like, that's how I listen to it. That's how I learned the story. Um, but I would not recommend it as your first audiobook of his. They're all really good. Um, I still need to listen to Mog World, which was his very first book. And I think... I don't know if it was his most successful, but it seems to be his most... It, it seems to be one that people come back to a lot. But I can't say whether that's good or not, because I haven't listened or read it. But it is on my list. But, you know. Um, but even if you don't like his YouTube stuff, I highly recommend his books, because his books are very different to his YouTube stuff. Um, and I enjoy his YouTube stuff as well, but they can be very, very crude, and I accept that. Um, and not all of the humour in the, in the YouTube videos stick. Um, but you know, but we'll save the galaxy of food is like a satire on like older sci-fi, like Ray Punk sort of sci-fi novels. Um, and it's basically this dude who's forced to masquerade as this really well-known hero or fictional hero. Um, but is actually this sort of original character, do not steal type character from this author who's stolen all these different space adventuring stories from from a bunch of different um, real adventurers or real in the book um, and so all these space adventurers um, 
really want to kill this author for stealing all the stories, especially as they're now out of work, because portals now exist, and so there's not much reason for um, space pilots and fighter pilots to exist anymore. Um, but basically, you're following this dude who's forced to masquerade as this um, not well liked in the industry space pilot to appease this rich mafia dude's son or be killed. <laughs> So it's a mixture of trying to appease the sun constantly whilst also being on the run and trying not to get killed by the mafia, but also not trying to get killed by everyone in the industry because, like, all of his documents say that he's this fake character when he's not. And he's really not a fan of that. Um, so yeah, so that's a really good book. And then Jam is a satire on apocalypse stories. And instead of being a zombie apocalypse or a plague or whatnot, and think, fuck, it wasn't a plague because, God damn it. Um... Instead, it's um, man-eating jam. So a bunch of man-eating jam has covered... I think it's set in Brisbane? Yeah, I think it's set in Brisbane. Um, and essentially you've got this team of survivors who are trying to figure out, okay, how the fuck do we get out of here? Um, and it just kind of goes from there, and you end up meeting all these different groups of survivors that are based on various different... <laughs> Very funny sort of satires on different groups, like the hyper-organised office groups, the forum LARPing people who seem to think that if they just call everything ironic, regardless of what they're doing, then it makes it okay, because hey, it's ironic, which is not what ironic means. Um, and that's addressed a few times in the book, because it is addressed that, yeah, these people are fucking crazy. Um... But yeah, no, I don't really want to say too much about the jokes because that would be ruining it because half the reason you listen to these books is to hear the jokes and laugh at it. Because um, they are genuinely funny and they're really good. Cool. Load. Seal. And sand. I didn't think we were going to be able to do that now. I'm really happy we were able to do it. Only an hour and a half in. So yay. Is that going to shoot up? I think. Yes. Yes, it does. How far does it go? Pretty high up. We can still see the thing. But I wonder, also, morbidly curious, if I shoot this... Hang on. If I shoot this up, does this come back down? It stays up there. Right. Okay. Ooh, that's a cliff. Alright, well, tiers three and four should be now unlocked. So let's hope that the water pumps are now available. And I should probably start thinking about topping up my power system stuff as well. Because I wouldn't be surprised if one of the fuses starts going, eh, we haven't got enough fuel now. Because it's been a while. Yeah, they're low. They're low, 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 low. No, no, copyright strike. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, highly recommend Yahtzee Crochel. It's a fantastic writer. Um, another series of his, not a book series, but another thing of his that I highly recommend um, is um, Dev Diary. Dev Diary is something he does with the Escapist, which, granted, not the best publication, not even a very good publication in my opinion um but yeah no um but dev diary is fantastic um it's the first season that he did last year was something where he wanted to make a new game every month for 12 months and so he would do these fortnightly episodes where he would update his and uh, like the viewer on his progress um, and every every month he was working on a new game and they were all very interesting concepts and none of them were straight up, oh there's just another first person shooter, it's like no no no, they all had some somewhat of a unique game mechanic um, like one was, I think one was an adaption he said of a H.P. Lovecraft story which I haven't read, but the idea of it was that basically you play a violin to fend off monsters and essentially monsters would appear in a line I think from memory 
and you have to stroke the violin in the angle that that line was at um, in order to um, get them to go away. There was another game where called Bunker Busting where you played as a dictator who was in a bunker and was trying to shoot himself but had to do it in such a way that it would ricochet off the wall to hit him and sometimes he'd have to find a way to shoot the dog as well. Bit of a morbid game, but it also didn't take itself too seriously. Um, what was another one? There was another one um, where it was top-down view, you um, had two guns and you had all these pigs that were in either red or blue colours and you had two guns that were red and blue colours and basically the idea of it was that you could spin your character around um, and you had to shoot the corresponding coloured pigs with the corresponding gun. It essentially meant you did a lot of twirling and spinning. And then you could move as well, so you weren't just stuck on the spot. So you have basically a lot of pirouetting going on as well as shooting. Um, and it was quite clever. Um, but yeah, really good series. That was season one. And then season two's all been about making the one game that he's called, I think, Starstruck Vagabond. And there are certain things about how he's making that game that I don't necessarily agree with, but it's his game. Some people really like those ideas. So, yeah, and experimentation is good, as he keeps saying as well. Um, so, yeah, uh, no matter what, I will be definitely checking that game out when it's completed. Mine will be one I play on stream. Because I think it would fit into the big brand play stream category. Um, because it is all about... Um, uh, uh, doing movement of cargo um, and that kind of thing and also that kind of thing of like moving cargo and basically being mailman really my jam because I'm really enjoying Death Stranding excuse me I really enjoyed Elite Dangerous I the only thing I did in Elite Dangerous was just be a space trucker and I really enjoyed being a, straight, a space trucker um, just could chill out put it on a podcast and go it was great um, I really want to play Lake at some point. Um, but yeah, no. Um, I really enjoyed those really nice kind of games um, where you just go to a place and deliver a thing. Um, and then Starstruck Vagabond looks like it's got that. It's also got companions as well as an overarching story and a really nice sci-fi aesthetic. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely give that a go when it's finished. I don't know if I'm really interested in doing it early access. I know he's trying to encourage people to do it whilst it's in early access, but... I don't know. Like, I don't want to ruin the experience for me. Um, and like, I know I don't think he's impl implemented a lot of the story. I think he's only really got the prologue in. But at the same time, like, I don't know. I want to experience it all in one go, not bits of it when it's still being built. That that's just me personally. Cool. So we've got coal generator and water extractor. Um, uh, sex water uh, body of water. Pipeline pump fluid buffer. Cold, cold generator burns cold to boil water. Um, I think that's maybe that was the water thing. Maybe it was just coal generators, and then because they just kept on infinitely mining coal. Maybe that's the water pump stuff I was thinking. Maybe, I thought it was purely just hydropower before, but maybe it is this stuff. Anyway, those will be more. Uh, what do you mean call it efficient than what we've got at the moment and they'll be like they, they'll be easier to to worry about so we will do that instead in fact actually yes i remember the ports yes this is the one i'm thinking of so we're going to do that one we need more cables and we need more rotors in fact actually let me just go fish bash bosh now I'll enter in what i have already got cool, so we just need more cables and rotors um yes yeah, so i've been interested i've been watching that series and it's been really interesting um but yeah highly recommend that one um what else would i recommend another book of his i would recommend definitely not as your starter one but one that i do recommend if you want something that's a satire of like the harry potter sort of urban fantasy stuff highly recommend differently morphous differently morphous is really fucking good um Shit, we're gonna need a heck more, more rotors than that. Um, actually, have I got I got power things? Let's do some more power stuff. Um, okay, so what does that need? We need more screws. We've got plenty of rods. Uh, is it 
Okay, enough rods. Barely. I can't make that any more fast. I can't make that any faster. Can I? No, this can't do any tinker. I can't go put two through there, then put one through there, and then one through there. Like, that's no, I can't do that customization. Um, all right, well, that's going as fast as it can at the moment. What are some, and this is the iron ingots not, no, the iron ingots is definitely fast enough. What are some other things I can speed up? Um, they're not doing anything, so they make the old, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's still waiting on nails. Might even be just worth rewriting some of this rock and just making another thing that makes those rods. Let's do that now. Uh, we want. You know what? Let's go. Scrap that. I mean, actually, no, no. That that production line is actually pretty good. Leave it as that. We will spend that. We'll make a splitter. That's frustrating. Okay. Um, we'll come back to that. But we will go bish, bash, bosh. And we'll take some of that to here. And we will go production and we want smelter. Yeah, but differently morphers is great. Um, aside from that, um, yeah, there's not really much else that's been going on. Um, okay, new constructor. We want that to make iron rods. And we want that to go into the thing that makes the nails. So we want a merger here. In fact, actually, I think this is the first time I've built a merger on this site. Exciting times. the iron rod stuff good that can go in there fantastic let's make sure it's all powered just go um that is making roots right yeah that's making roots good cool and that should speed up the process of making some screws which is great yeah sweet so that's now that's actually getting more than what it needs which is fantastic which probably means i could actually probably take one of these out think I think that's right yeah I think that would be right cool so I can actually use that to power up more stuff so that's now making more of those um or even you know what power that up put the one back in here. Put one in here. 
one. Do I have another one? I do. And put one in here. And we'll see how that goes. Um, what else is worth doing? I'll probably do some more research at the mail. So it looks like stream tonight has been pretty good. I only dropped out once. I didn't even notice when that was. So I think I will keep this on Monday nights then. I think I, maybe I was just a bit unlucky. Um, copper wire. We could definitely get copper wire. And then we'll have an extra hand slot. Um, if I can jump over this. Uh, do, and then we can actually worry about the core power stuff. I keep forgetting. Um, cool. Alien organisms. Yep. Start research. Sweet. Done. Um, how many roaches have I got? Six, but I can still hand it in. Hand in the cables. Uh, have I got stuff to make roaches? No, I need more nails. That's right. I'll quickly grab nails. surprised I managed to keep thinking of things to talk about in two hours to be honest I like when I was about an hour and I thought ooh I've run out of topics but now I kept on coming up with more but now I'm like no, no no now I really have run out of topics I'm surprised I haven't had to add anything to the stupid moments counter at all. That's been really lucky. We got close there for a second, but we're fine. Do we know what we're doing? Mostly. But we're getting there. We are getting there. I might even... Hmm... I'll see how I feel at 11, but I'm thinking I might even stop the stream early because I know I've got an early-ish morning and I'm running out of topics to talk about. I've been streaming for almost two hours and we've got decent progress. We've gone to the point where we've unlocked coal power, but I'm like, uh, but we can still do plenty of progress at the moment. Like, why am I going this way? Um, although I suppose I could get more roses. Um, I'll see how I feel at 11. Uh, is this rotus? Yes, this is rotus. Fantastic. Get those. I feel like I'm holding a fallout gun. Like it looks like almost like a more bulky version of the pipe rifle. I don't know. It says it's still a kind of aesthetic. Just like scrap metal being put together. And I also wonder whether this thing has more um, use than just as a gun to hit things with. Oh, I need more. Two more. I need two more rotus. I can't. I can probably make um, some more nails though. Sweet. Go. Go. Uh, done. Come on. Like, hit. Launch. Why is it taking so long to actually press the button? Um, alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Yay. Ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Oh shit, we can find coal. In vertical transport of fluids through pipes. No, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. That's something I hadn't thought about because I know there is, I'll, I'll show you, but I know there is water up here past this hill. 
but I didn't think to check for coal because I gen genuinely thought there was this hydropower. I forgot you had the whole point is that you're actually boiling the water with coal. Um, yeah, there's water here. If I can, yeah, water here. But then coal, I didn't think of that. I also know like way past there. I think actually, ah, uh, no, sorry. We'll, ooh, no, yeah, it is way past up there. There's a bunch of coal and water, which I would like to get to at some point. Um, or maybe it is more up there. Fuck, I forget where. That's fine. I'll figure it out later. Um, hey, I wonder actually. I is it V? No. No, no. There's a thing I could use to search for things. Right. Unless, did you have a have to have it on um? Oh, shit! Did you have to have it on your inventory in order to look for things? Maybe, maybe that was it. Actually, I don't think you did though. Unless, did you have to have that? No. Shit, there was a thing you could use to search for ores. Um, it wasn't an object scanner. I had the object scanner just then. Hey, controls, options, controls, or key bindings actually. Ping? No. Crystal scanner vehicle menu V. Do I have to hold it? I have to hold it. There we are. Cold. Ooh, it's far away. Shit, it's all the way over there. 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 Um, okay. So. I have some good news and some bad news. Bad news is coal is nowhere near us. And we probably can't use that water I was hoping to use. Good news is I know a place we can go to. I think it is that way. <sighs> How do we want to go about this? All right, what do we need for water pumps to begin with? Oh, oh no, we need to make a lot more stuff before we can make water pumps. So we need to automate a hell of a lot more stuff before we can make water pumps. Okay, um, right. Yeah, we need a lot more rotors as well. Um, yeah, so what is that? That is copper sheet. Okay, we can quickly start making that now. If I can remember where our copper is. I think our copper is coming from, like, from that direction. Oh yeah, because we're, we're making copper wire. Um, so yeah, so we can quickly start making that. That's okay. The road is though we need to make a bit faster. <laughs> which we're already working on, but... And I didn't quite mean to clip through the earth, but that's fine. Uh, unless uh, we're already manufacturing the copper wire up here. Okay, so I'm going to have to go up here to make those copper sheets. In fact, I'm going to need to make a splitter. Oop. Uh, in fact, actually, you know what I am going to do? Because I keep on going back to use it. I'm going to put... I'm going to... Why uh, can I bind that to something? I bind it to five. No? no. If I highlight it, there we are. Cool. There, split up. And then that'll be a bit quicker. I don't have to keep going into the menu for it. Sweet. And then we're going to make another smelter we pop that in there and we're going to make a constructor there 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 we're gonna make that make copper sheets and then we go power it
Sweet. And we need that to come all the way back to base, preferably. Although, oh, you know what we can do? Stackable conveyor poles. Finally. Or even can't you actually make them part of. Wait, no? No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That works. Oh, it's so nice to have those. Oh, I also need. Oh, can I actually. Do I have the ability to upgrade my conveyor? Oh, I have the ability to upgrade my conveyor belts. I have plenty of those. Alright, that's the next thing we're doing. Because then it'll make all my conveyor belts so much faster as well. Um, uh, no, I want stackable. Uh, oh. Okay. And uh, dupe. That full damage, but that's okay. Cool, and then dupe. Come on, yep, that's it. Because never know, we might need something to go through there, um, and then. I will make a splitter, because I never know, might need to make copper sheets go somewhere at some point. And then make a storage container. And then we are making all my convey belts faster. Cool. All right, we're gonna go number three. Now, what's something that could do with being a little bit faster? Concrete, I have plenty of concrete. That stuff would be great if it could be faster. <laughs> that doesn't need to be faster, that's that capacity. Eventually I'll make every single one of these mark two and then mark three when the time comes. May as well. Right, now's the time to start grabbing some more of those. Take all. Everything can work a bit faster. Anymore, I can make fast. I can make that one faster. I think no, that's already X. I can go a bit faster. And then 
I think that is all of my conveyor belts. Oh, actually, no, there'll be ones up in the hill. And there's these ones. Oh, my reinforced iron plate. But all oh, my conveyor belts are so much quicker now, so yay. Um, right. So. Okay, so I've now got the those sheets being made a bit faster. And we also need a roaches, I think, to be a bit faster from memory, wasn't it? Because coal generators in the air need 10 roaches. Although we can always make them by hand. I also know that I probably want to make some stairways, um, because then I can unlock the, um, the zoomy zoom, the tubes. And in fact, can I unlock the tubes? Are they in either of the tiers that I've got unlocked at the moment? Vehicular transport, no. Basic steel production, no. Minor Mark 2. Could be neat, but I don't really have need for it at the moment. Uh, now, that would be nice though, those two hypertubes. But it requires stuff that I can't build yet. And Logistics Mark 3. Conveyor belt would be nice, but it also requires things I can't build yet. Hard steel production, you say? Uh, I'll be honest, I don't have the energy for this right now. I've just exhausted all my reinforced iron plates, making everything upgraded as well. It's 11 o'clock. I have an early morning. I might actually leave that there for tonight, to be honest. We've done, we've done a decent amount. Uh, we've got the space elevator built. We were able to get coal generators unlocked. We were able to optimize a few more things. We got a lot more slugs. Um, Made a few more machines. I think this was pretty productive, all things considered. Also made a gun, that, so I can now actually attack the range. Managed to cheese a couple of the slugs as well, which I couldn't last time. Yeah, I'm happy with this progress. And I've been streaming for about two hours now, so that's, that's a decent amount. So I am going to say goodnight then. Um, thank you for joining me. I hope this wasn't too boring. I think another reason I should be quitting is that I have run out of topics to talk about. Um, so, that's going to be interesting when I need to think about things to talk about on Wednesday. Going to need to think about that. Anyway, for now, good night. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, mornings, afternoons, whatever time you're watching this. Um, and I will see you on Wednesday, or I'll just see you in whatever next vault you watch next. Or at some point, assuming I manage to get the SA video. We'll see. Have a good night.